Thanksgiving's coming up. I think it's really important to engage. And these are the hardest conversations. It's much easier in class to, to talk to someone in class versus your, your grumpy uncle. Or, or, or your aunt, you, you know your aunt. Um, that's a critical component. But around the structural components, um, I would say um, the ability for individuals to uh, participate in their most valuable franchise, which is voting, and the restoration of the Voting Rights Act. And I don't know if you guys recently saw the video that was out this weekend of uh, black folks in, I believe it was Georgia, Jefferson County, Georgia, um, they went, got on a bus to try to vote, and someone, nonpartisan organization, so 501c3, federally, federal nonpartisan organization, and they removed over 50 seniors from the bus because it was an outside organization who was potentially agitating um, in this situation. That right to vote um, is absolutely critical. Um, I think when we look at uh, the disparities that are in healthcare, um, uh, that is a critical component, um, as well as the uh, still persisting uh, disparities around economics. Uh, because uh, having political freedom, and we were just in, we were just in South Africa. There's quote unquote political freedom in South Africa, but we went to a place in Cape Town called Kailicha, uh, which is. Um, a, a, a part of uh, Cape Town, and it's where, it's, a color, it's, color, right? um, it's where colored folks live, um, but people still have uh, 10 roofs. Um, and the disparities that I spoke about earlier in terms of life expectancy are as pronounced there, and we were there for World AIDS Day, there were 250,000 new AIDS cases. 2018. Not 1988. So there's a lot there. <coughs> so, time for a couple more. We have time for one more question. Anybody? So if there's not any more questions, not? can I just? I would. I would just close um, with a a, a challenge. Um, or, or to share uh, my theory on life. And it won't take long. Um, the first thing that you may or may not know is that you don't get out of life alive. <laughs> y'all know, I, I don't know if y'all, I know y'all are first year students, but I, I don't know if you may not know that. Um, but when it's all said and done, we all get a headstone. And on the headstone, there's three important things. There's your name, the date you came here, and the date you leave. The only thing on the headstone that represents your whole life is a dash. And it's a question mark. What did you do while you were here? What's new, different? or better from the time that you're here? How many people did you help? Who did you look out for? Who did you stand up for? Who did you use your privilege for? And I would submit to you that the work that you do here at Southern New Hampshire University um, will, if you do the things that move you, if you identify the things that should be changed, that you will make an indelible mark on this school, uh, on your community, on your state, and on the world. Um, and it's so absolutely critical um, that you understand that you get, you get a couple of accounts. A lot of us think about our bank account. You have an impact account. And we need to make sure that we're actually putting deposits, not only in our bank account, but we're putting deposits in that impact account. Because uh, Denzel Washington said that, you know, he's been to a lot of funerals, 
We had never been to a funeral where in the procession there was a Brinks truck. You can't take it with you. But what you will be remembered for and by are the things that you did, not only for you and your family, but the things that you did for others, the community, and the world. So go forward and be awesome. And remember, the Calvary is not coming. All of the leaders, all of the doers, all of the change agents that we need are in this room right now. Thank you so much. for his um, just remarkable story and ability to share with all of you um, his um, experience and wisdom from his, his uh, great age. And okay, so you know what? Uh, so no more. No, that's <laughs> Um, I'd like to ask all of you, if you would like to remain or get notices um, about what Global Citizen Circle is doing, we're hoping to do, we will be doing more of these kinds of um, discussions, our Walking the Talk series. Um, if you'd like to be on our mailing list, on our email list, please, um, there's a computer right there, this gentleman in the back has a computer, you can just enter in your information, it will go into our database and you will receive newsletters and invitations to things like this. Um, so I thank you all for coming. I hope that you um, can take away some of the, the, um, the things that you know, shared with you and, and do something with that. Um, I'd like to also invite you to, if any of you would like, we are going over to the Last Chance Pub um, after we leave here and just continuing the conversation. That's something that we always do with Global Citizen Circle. The conversation doesn't end here. We'd like for any of you who would like to join us for more informal conversation, continuing the discussion. Um, we'll have drink vouchers available and uh, for beer and wine and soda. They are carding, so all of you first years um, don't think that you'll, you're going to be able to. Um, yeah, I can't help you with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, please join us if you'd like, and otherwise, stay well, have a good weekend. So long.